Hey there friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, what we're gonna talk about is what is swinging outside in with your club path? Why do golfers do it? Because most are not doing it on purpose, maybe all of them, or the vast majority will say. And then what you can do to stop doing that, maybe swing more neutrally along the target line or even more inside out, if that's what you're looking for, trying to create that draw. Okay, so here I am as a golfer, I got my simulator screen out here. You can maybe see that target line in the distance there, the white line. Now the target line is just that straight line through the ball. I as the golfer, I'm standing on the inside of it. There's the outside of it. So when we talk about club path here, out to in is usually, well not usually, out to in is moving the club this way from, in my case, right to left or out to into that target line over to left field there. And usually, that comes with this sort of steep and over the top move that causes people a lot of trouble, right? It'll slice the ball on you. It tends to weaken the contact, so less ball speed and distance. And uh, it can also lead to a lot of contact mishits as well. Heavy, thin, maybe off the heel or toe. It's no good. So we're not looking for that. Now, why do golfers swing outside in? Because again, most people are not doing it on purpose and certainly no one that I know who has any idea what they're doing is getting steep and over the top on purpose. So what I say is it's your athletic subconscious biting the ball back onto the target line. What do I mean by that? Well, what most people don't know when they start the game is that the average backswing is about 0.75 seconds and the average downswing is about 0.25. And that's for most of us, right? Almost every golfer playing the game. What that means in my head relative to what we're talking about today is that your club face has way more time to open up in the backswing than it does to close in the downswing. And without realizing that and having some sort of strategy to offset it, most golfers will leave the face open and knock shots to the right as a right-handed golfer when they first start playing the game. Now, again, without knowledge of what to do to offset this, your body will tell you to do something to straighten it out. And golf is counterintuitive. It's why I have a job and golf pros have a job teaching this game is because what your body tells you to do is usually not what you want to have happen. So if I see that ball go right, my body will instinctively try and pull this club more to the left, but that's not going to do anything to really close the face. It's just going to pull my path more out to in. And what we know is the face sends it and the path bends it. So if the face is still open, ball will still start to the right, but now my path working more out to in will only serve to fade it or slice it harder to the right, okay? So you could think of it as maybe your shoulders trying to work to fight that club left, when in reality, we either wanna, let's get to the last phase of the video. What do we wanna do to offset this pattern? So if you've already developed a habit of swinging out to in despite your best efforts not to, what you wanna do is work the face closed somehow. Now, you got three good options here. You could strengthen grip orientation. So for me as a right-handed golfer, that's my left hand more on top of the handle, right hand more underneath the handle. And now the club face is effectively sitting more closed in my hands. Because as a golfer, most of us, we want to square it up, right? Kind of back of the left hand of the target, right palm to the target. Okay, so if stronger grip's not the answer, then maybe in the takeaway, we want to sort of flex and extend these wrists versus rolling them to keep the face more closed versus letting it roll open to the inside. That's another huge area where people are letting the face open more than they realize they are. And now they have to work super hard to close it in the downswing where that out in path will start to come in, okay? So if it's not grip and it's not takeaway, then the last phase where I like to try to affect change here is maybe trying to twist the face closed. You can see that up there early in transition because again, you only have 0.25 seconds to work that face back closed. And a lot of people, maybe this last phase here, a lot of people let that left elbow sneak away from them, a little chicken wing, and that tends to really hold the face open, right? So if we're looking to close it faster in the downswing, keeping that lead elbow a little closer to your side, letting it fold up, letting this lead palm roll to the sky, all of those things will help you close the face. Now, let me demonstrate here. Your path will probably remain out to in still because paths for almost every golfer are more consistent, so harder to change. Faces are usually less consistent, easier to change. So if my path is still out to in, but then I start closing the face, I'll start hitting more shots like this, where I swung left with the path, negative three path, but then I really closed the face, 10 degrees closed with the face there. So I ended up hitting a pull draw. 
Now it's not gonna just take one rep here. You almost have to kind of layer on some reps to convince yourself this is your new pattern, right? But the only reason you ever started swinging out to in or left is because the ball was going to the right. So if we can make the ball go left every time you swing left, you can start to unlearn these habits, right? And we can do drills, like I don't have any extra props right next to me here, but I could do like an extra ball. I'm gonna hit this ball right here and I could do an extra one behind to the outside, maybe another extra one in front to the inside. So now I have this gate drill. So now if I can preserve the things I'm doing to close the face and then swing through this sort of gate style avoidance drill, now I can close the face to the path, which is what we started to do, but then slowly shift the path to the right. And I think I had these balls maybe a little bit too directly in line of the track man radar. So we didn't get exact numbers there, but hopefully you get my drift, right? So phase one, close the face, which is gonna take your right miss into a left miss. Hopefully a fade or slice into a pull or a pull draw. Once you layer that on with some consistency, not only will your in athletic intuition, like I mentioned earlier, instinctively, you'll no longer have the urgency to swing left because you're missing left. And if you combine that with some drill work, you're going to be on the express lane to stop swinging outside in, maybe inside out, maybe draws at least straighter, further, hopefully more consistent shots. All right. If this was helpful, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. That's helpful for me. What's really helpful for me, if you want to subscribe to the channel, I'm on this march to a thousand. That would be huge. Share the channel with your friends if you think any of these videos would help them play better golf, unless you're trying to beat them on the golf course. Maybe you don't. Haha, -ha, just joking. All right, enough for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.